Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Trina's life will never be the same. Trina grappled with the aftermath of a tragedy in the General Hospital episode, airing on Thursday, February 1. The suspected death of her boyfriend, Spencer Cassadine, completely turned her world upside down. He saved her life one moment and was drowned in the depths of the river Seine the next. What is she to do now that she has lost the love of her young life? The difficulty with Spencer's assumed death is the annoying presumed word. Because French police have not discovered a body, Trina will continue to wonder if Spencer is someplace lost and damaged, looking for a way back into his life. At the same time, she mourns the moments she and Spencer will never share. They were intended to spend their time in Paris, exploring the romantic city, visiting art galleries and museums during the day and dining at elegant restaurants at night. The grief will be intense, but acceptance will be non-existent. For the time being, she can hold out hope that Spencer will return to her. Nothing more lasting can be imagined. Denial will become her buddy. In her heart, she will want to remain in Paris and look for Spencer. But with her parents and Laura on the boat, she'll go through the motions and join them on the aircraft back to Port Charles. In PC, she'll have the support of her friends and family, including Joss and Stella, but it won't be the same without Spencer. Who knows if she will accept their support immediately away. Even if several Cassadines, including Spencer's father, Nicholas, were assumed dead and then unexpectedly returned, a memorial ceremony may be held. In this instance, Trina will need to have the courage to say goodbye. She'll also have to rely on the strength of others around her to get through. Trina's future is suddenly uncertain. Instead of attending the Sorbonne in Paris for the semester, she is home and may not want to return to college. Will she take a semester off? Drop out of college completely? Or tell everyone she's all right while secretly searching for Spencer? Trina Robinson is a college student who is kind, soulful, goal-oriented, and fiercely driven when she wants to be. She cares for herself and others as much as she can. However, when a catastrophe strikes unexpectedly, your ambitions and temperament can shift dramatically. If Esme returns to Port Charles, with or without Ace, Trina may want to get her revenge in a huge way. Esme terrorized her and is now held responsible for her death on a Parisian boat. She has a good head on her shoulders, but who could blame her for wanting some retribution? Trina's heart will go out for Spencer Cassadine. Trina and Spencer have an epic love story, as proven by the gorgeous music montage in today's episode of General Hospital. Austin J., the artist who composed and performed Things You'll Never Know, spoke with Soap Hub exclusively about how his song was incorporated in the Sprena Love montage. J. is not only a longtime GH viewer, his aunt, Charlotte Gibson, is one of the show's scribes. When the script called for Trina to wish for Spencer's, Nicholas Alexander Chavez, safe return, Gibson believed her nephew's song would fit the bill. Paul Glass, supervising music producer G.H., and the ABC staff believed the song was a fantastic fit for the water and the song. I got the call, and I was overjoyed because I had so many fond memories of watching the show, he says. Jay created and played the music for Things You'll Never Know, in addition to performing it. That song came 100% straight from, from my heart, Jay said. I composed, Things You'll Never Know, while on lockdown during the pandemic. I was feeling quite alone and alone. I had begun writing faster-paced songs. I wanted to write a ballad about being without someone. Being without somebody is exactly how Trina feels right now. Spencer appears to have died while attempting to save Trina from the evil Esm, Avery Kristen Pohl. I was thinking about the scene in Titanic where Rose, Kate Winsett, calls for the boats to return. That sense of despondency. You'll keep trying, but it's just not there. I realize that sounds dismal, but that is what I was trying for. That melancholy sense of longing. There is something positive about your sentiments, but you will not be able to be with that individual. 
For more information on things you'll never know, see Jay's Instagram feed. I'm on Spotify and all streaming platforms, he says, adding that Things You'll Never Know is the most streamed song I've ever released. I'm glad to see that my performance is improving. This year, I'll be doing a lot of touring and performing. I'm extremely grateful that people enjoy my live shows. People describe my music as cathartic. I'm quite thrilled and ready. I'm grateful for this opportunity and for allowing new people to hear this song. Laura and Sunny are currently experiencing two emotions, grief and guilt. Spoilers for the Friday, February 2 episode of General Hospital will astonish and astound viewers as characters' emotions are heightened. Laura and Sunny will undoubtedly feel the consequences of Spencer and Trina's Parisian nightmare. Their concern for Spencer, in particular, will force the two to bond over this new traumatic experience. Laura will undoubtedly continue to regret her support for Esm, Avery Kristen Pohl. Especially once the young woman regained her memory, she reverted to her wicked personality. Even though Sonny faced a very different type of suffering on his island, he is most likely grappling with his own emotions of guilt. Laura later has a further shock when someone arrives at her home. If it's Esm, it's unclear whether this confrontation will be upsetting or violent. If it's Nicholas, is he looking for a safe location for himself and Ace? Or perhaps he has realized his mistake and abandons Ace as the fugitive flees once more? Or might it be a third, entirely distinct option? Meanwhile, Joss has a lot on her plate. Her boyfriend had just encountered heavy firepower on Sunny's island. She also continues to help her problematic study companion, Adam, get through college and his rigid, unfeeling father and now teases hint that something has stunned her. Which of her many situations prompts her intense reaction? Anna and Jordan continue their powerful female collaboration. After interrogating Brennan and gaining significant information, the two are ready to schedule another meeting. Hopefully it won't be too intense or leave them battling for their lives. Finally, Carly is in a whole new world now that she is the leader of Crimson, she hasn't forgotten about her other gig, the newly renamed Bobby's. Her world widens as she meets a new client. Is that a good thing? Or is it a terrible thing? Brennan was the last new patron she encountered, and you know what transpired. Ultimately, since taking the helm of Crimson, Carly finds herself in an entirely new realm. She is still aware of her other job, Bobby's, which was just rebranded. Meeting a new client opens her world, what is the benefit of this, or a negative thing? Brennan was the most recent new client she encountered, and you are aware of the outcome. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.